What Attracted Moon Descripts is really the integration of the basic science together with the translational aims that the Institute has. So really the ability to kind of explore basic mechanisms of how the brain develops, but then also to be able to have an eye on translating that into therapeutics and diagnostics for the disorder that I'm interested in. And I think that's something that's fairly unique and Scripps does very well. My lab is really focused on trying to understand how it is that risk factors for autism and other developmental disorders act in the developing brain to influence both brain structure and behavior. Because we think this is really an important part of, as different risk factors are identified from human genetic screens, for example, for things like autism, we really need to understand how it is that these act to build the brain. And so we use a variety of different imaging techniques to view into the developing brain, to watch connection form, to understand how the wiring is established in the brain, and ultimately how that leads to the behavior that's actually relevant to the disorders. And we're very interested in both improving diagnostics, but also developing new therapeutics that are capable of addressing some of these uh, very, very devastating disorders. So that's a really major focus of, of my lab. My laboratory studies uh, neuropharmacology, and neuropharmacology focuses on drug actions on the central nervous system. Um, in particular, we're very interested in how opioids, uh, drugs that are derived from morphine or opioids that are expressed in the body, such as encephalins, act at the receptors, the opioid receptors, to control things like pain. Opioid receptors are where morphine acts to alleviate pain. However, they're also the receptors where morphine acts to cause the side effects and to promote addiction to the drugs like heroin and Oxycontin. And so our lab is really interested in trying to separate the pain relieving effects, the analgesic effects of these opiates um, from those side effects. We work very closely with chemists to develop new molecules, new chemical probes that we can learn to, number one, learn more about the biology of how these receptors mediate the analgesia and the side effects, and also to use these as starting compounds for developing new therapeutics. And so we're working uh, very closely with NIH as well as private pharmaceutical partners to develop these compounds, which we hope may represent the next generation of analgesics with limited side effects.